Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's ambitious venture into the entertainment industry through their company, Archwell, has experienced both successes and setbacks. As part of their exclusive $100 million deal with Netflix, the couple has produced some original content, but not all of their ideas have gained traction. Their initial DOCU series, Harry and Meghan, which delved into the dynamics of their relationship and their struggles with the British royal family, garnered significant attention and became one of Netflix's most watched documentary premieres to date. Encouraged by this success, Archwell proceeded to create another series titled, Live to Lead, focusing on influential activists and politicians aiming to inspire young people. However, despite their enthusiasm and efforts, Live to Lead failed to meet Netflix's expectations for success. It didn't make it into any of Netflix's top 10 lists, and the viewership data suggested it didn't perform well overall. This setback was a part of a larger report suggesting that the relationship between Netflix and Archwell might be experiencing challenges. It appears that Archwell has pitched additional projects to Netflix, but not all of them were well received. An animated series called, Pearl, was initially in development but was ultimately cancelled before making significant progress. Additionally, two other pitches were outright rejected. One of these proposed a sitcom with a premise resembling, Emily in Paris, but with a male protagonist, while the other resembled Netflix's original series, Heartstopper, following a gay protagonist. Despite these disappointments, an official spokesperson for Archwell remains optimistic, stating that new companies often face challenges during their startup phase and that they are energized to move forward. The company has recently appointed Tracy Ryerson as its new head of scripted content, signaling their commitment to enhancing their offerings. While anonymous sources predict that Netflix might not renew its deal with Archwell when it expires in 2025, Netflix has not expressed any negative sentiments about its work with the couple thus far. The streaming platform's spokesperson emphasized that they will continue collaborating with Meghan and Harry on various projects. In addition to their Netflix deal, Archwell had a $20 million deal with Spotify to produce original podcasts and other audio content. However, last week, it was announced that they had mutually agreed to part ways with Spotify. Markle's podcast, Archetypes, will not be receiving a second season. Netflix is not necessarily a published except when the streamer chooses to release it so it's hard to tell how well the show actually did Wall Street Journal reported that Live to Lead did not make it into any of Netflix's top 10 lists even in the days and weeks immediately after Julie's on December 31st that would suggest that the show did not perform well at all and it certainly hasn't gotten the same publicity as Harry and Meghan this was part of a controversial report speculating that the deal between Netflix and the Sussex's company Artswell is not going well so far.